Hello everyone and welcome into a Friday edition of Gold and Blue Now. I'm Chip Fontanaza. Today's program is brought to you by Suddenlink where the Red Tag event is going on right now. You can get Suddenlink high speed internet for as low as $15 a month. Well, there's a new man in charge in the Big 12 Conference. According to multiple reports, Bob Bowlesby has accepted the position as the Big 12 Commissioner. He spent the last six seasons with Stanford as its athletic director. An announcement is expected to happen later on today in Dallas, Texas, and also, according to reports, he is going to stay with the Cardinal as AD until June, and then he will take over for interim Big 12 Commissioner Chuck Ninus. And one of the things Bowlesby is known for is helping the Pac-12 negotiate its new television contract, and to no surprise, he got a big endorsement from Pac-12 Commissioner Larry Scott. Tom Fitzgerald covers the Stanford Cardinal for the San Francisco Chronicle, and he was a guest on the Northside Automotive Statewide Sports Line and says Bowlesby will be a good fit in the Big 12 Conference. I think he's going to do a, a, a great job for the, for the Big 12. He's not afraid to make bold decisions, and um, as he did when he hired Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh was a, was a coach at the University of San Diego. I doubt very many people in the in the Pac-10 at the time knew knew who he was, and I think it's a very good move for the for the the Big 12, and um, and uh, it's a blow for Stanford. Speaking of the Big 12, the Mountaineer Athletic Club concluded its first trip in the coaches' caravan. They were in Parkersburg yesterday, and fans also got to meet former Oklahoma head coach Barry Switzer and former Heisman Trophy winner Billy Sims, and both of them said that they had a great trip to the Mountain State. Oh, I love it, except it reminds me of Arkansas. I grew up in the hills of Arkansas. I'm an Arkansas graduate. It reminds me of the Ozarks. Very pretty. It's a very pretty country. I've never been here before, and uh, I've uh, traveled all over the United States, but this is the first time for West Virginia. Beautiful. I haven't been here but a little while, but the scenery and everything is beautiful. I just... All these hills, there'd be trucks ain't training around here. I had to run those hills all the time. <laughs> Moving on to some news with some former Mountaineers. Defensive end Julian Miller is getting ready to head to the Bengals minicamp to start his career in Cincinnati. He was signed by the Bengals shortly after the NFL draft and is happy he has an opportunity to compete for a spot with an NFL franchise. Looking back at it, it would have been nice to definitely be able to play just outside defensive end, just rushing the passer, or just always playing outside. It definitely would have helped a lot, but I think, you know, being able to have the opportunity to play inside shows teams or, well, actually the Bengals, you know, that um, I can actually do that. And you can read more about Miller and also the rest of the players who we either signed or drafted on our website, WVMetroNews.com. Today's program is sponsored by Suddenlink, where the Red Tag event is going on right now. You can get Suddenlink high-speed internet for as low as $15 a month. Well, that will do it for this edition of Gold and Blue Now. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching.